Hey guys, this is Coach Rich and Travels, and I'm here to talk about this new latest announcement from Seymour Orlando. So I'm going to do this video a little differently and just talk about it, you know, no script or anything like that, and um, see how this format goes, because if the format is successful, I'll continue to talk about more announcements in this forum. So without ado, let's get to the topic of the day, which is the new confirmed b and surf stand-up coaster that is coming to Seymour Orlando in 2023. Now, when I first saw the announcement, it kind of confirmed that, you know, yeah, it was going to be a, a, a stand-up coaster. At, at the very least, a coaster with two rows, you know, a two-row coaster, because you know that b and is known for their, you know, their four-seater cross coaster. It's cool to see them reveal a two across coaster. So that means hopefully that this type of model will have a bit more tighter turns than the usual b and um, coaster. One thing I noticed when I saw the announcement was the restraint system. It looks like they're going to go with the vest restraint that I've seen in the newer B&M coasters. Now, I know a lot of people have complained about the vest tightening on them and whatnot, but I did experience the vest myself when I rode Banshee back in 2015, and personally, I did not have an issue with those type of vests, so we'll see how they will work in the stand-up form. Speaking of stand-up form, I'm surprised that they went back to this, as this was their first style of coaster that they made. If you recall, B&M's very first coaster was Iron Wolf. It's almost like they came full circle with this announcement. They started up with stand-up coasters, and now they're bringing it back in a new generation which makes me wonder how better these generation of stand-up coasters will be because the stand-up coasters I rode in the past wasn't too bad. I would say of all the coasters, Georgia Scorcher is probably my favorite being up stand-up just because it's not too big and the forces are just right on, you know, on my feet. Unlike a ride like Green Lantern at Six Flags Great Adventure. Now, it's a good layout and all, but those forces on my feet, it was just, to me, it was a little bit too much. I like smaller stand-up coasters like Georgia Scorcher, so we'll eventually find out how this new stand-up format will be like now the only thing that's missing is the official layout I know a couple of months back or so there was a leak layout of the coaster so I wonder how accurate this layout is to the leaked one as a stand-up coaster I don't really mind the elements because as a sit down it looked it very underwhelming this is a first of its kind honestly there is not a lunch stand-up coaster that I know of I mean if you know us a lunch stand-up coaster let me know in the comments but I think this is the first one of its kind and it's very unique in the Orlando area or the, the Central Florida period because there's no such coaster like that. Overall, I think it's a good thing that SeaWorld has this type of coaster because it does stand out from everything else. And I just hope it's a success, which I think it would be. I mean, it's being, um, you know, you can't really go wrong with it being them, um, as they say. So let me know what you think about this new coaster. Is it a good idea or do you think they should have went with something else? Also, do you like this new natural format I'm trying out? Please let me know in the comments below. If you want to see future content, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified of my future videos, and share my videos so more can see. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.